You are listening to the Daily Gospel Reflections with Sister Cloth. This podcast is brought to you by the Pauline's Multimedia. It is our mission to bring the Word of God to all peoples through sounds and images, voices, and music. Come and join us as we share with you a thought a day. Our reading for today is lifted from the Gospel account of St. John, chapter 12, verses 20 to 33. Among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew, Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it. And those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me. And where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honor. Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? No. It is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said that it was thunder. Others said, An angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, This voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out, and I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. Hello there, we are now in the fifth week of Lent. We are challenged this week to keep watch and pray to seek God even amidst the darkness and utter confusion because, come what may, He's always there to make us feel His loving presence. Looking back at St. John's account in chapter 12, verse 19, we find the Pharisees saying, See, This is getting us nowhere. Look how the whole world has gone after him. Why did the Pharisees say this? It is because not only a massive crowd of Jews was following Jesus, but even the Gentiles were starting to get attracted to him. In today's reading, we heard of the Greeks seeking to see Jesus. They asked Philip, if they could meet him. But when Philip and Andrew told Jesus about the Greek's request, Jesus neither said yes or no, for he knew that it was because of his miracles that people sought him out. So Jesus was like saying, Not now, just wait and see. He did not entertain the request of the Greeks. He made them wait for something more grandiose. All he said was, Very truly I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. To my mind, Jesus wanted his disciples and every one of us to realize that first, he must suffer the ignominy of the cross then die, 
and after three days, rise again. Jesus' resurrection is the greatest miracle of all, so much more than all the miracles he performed on earth. He did not want the people to believe in him because he multiplied bread, cured the sick, raised the dead to life, and ministered only to their bodily needs. By his death and resurrection, Jesus wanted us to realize and believe that by his death and resurrection, we have the hope that we'll live again regardless of our human limitations and sinfulness. We have hope that even in the pit of despair, we can rise again. We must hold tight to our beliefs, be patient, and wait and see. One writer says, We often experience that it takes faith to carry us through to the wait and see part. But our faith can be taken to the next level if we wait. Impatience is often lethal to the maturation of our faith. Be with us again tomorrow as we share with you a thought a day. Meanwhile, you can follow us and listen to other Apple and Google podcasts on Spotify, produced by Pauline's Multimedia. Have a good day.